what I want to um, establish here as a theme for our work this weekend is that your body is a transmitter. Your body is a transmitter. And, and you're transmitting all the time, right? Everybody's aware of that, right? We're transmitting all the time. Most of the time, our transmission is unconscious. Most of the time, our transmission is unconscious. So if I'm walking down the street thinking about, you know, so-and-so that said such-and-such, such, right, and what I'm going to do next time I talk to them, right, what I'm going to say <laughs> next time I talk to them, not that any of you have had those conversations in your head, but sometimes I do, and I'm, I'm doing that, I'm transmitting that, aren't I? I'm transmitting that to the environment, to the street, walking down the street. I'm transmitting that conversation. Now, people who pass by me might not know the details of that, but they'll get the feeling of it. They'll get the feeling of it. And so my body is transmitting what I'm focusing on, right, and what is happening in my body at all times. And the beauty of that, the beauty and the curse of that, is that we're always evoking something from our environment based on our transmission, right? So we're evoking, um, like let's say I'm walking down the street having that thought. I'm going to evoke from people who walk past me a slight, maybe super subtle feeling of discomfort, aren't I? They're not going to be able to, they're not going to be able to really know, but they'll just feel like, hmm, like something didn't quite feel right. Versus I'm walking down the street, I can feel my feet hit the pavement each time, I can feel the earth underneath me, my breath is full, my heart's relaxed, my solar plexus are open, and I'm focusing on the beauty, the infinite beauty of this moment and all of life around me. T different transmission, yeah? Same me, same body, same, you know, different transmission. And so we're always in relationship, always, 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 in relationship with the moment, in relationship with our environment, in relationship with each other. We're always there. And we're always transmitting. The key is what do we want to transmit and what do we want to evoke, right? What do we want to evoke? Um, the men this morning worked on uh, sort of depth, presence, and consciousness, right? Well, depth, presence, and consciousness tends to evoke trust and devotion. Right? The women were working on various energies of devotion or heart expression, things like that, even anger, right? That tends to evoke certain things from a partner. So, you know, some of you have been with me before. I'd say probably half of you have been to workshops before. Um, some of this might be new. But your body's a transmission now. All right, your body's always transmitting, okay? And your body's, and you're always evoking from the environment, okay? So now we bring in these concepts of masculine and feminine polarity. Masculine and feminine polarity, right? And if we're here, this is irregardless of gender. This is irregardless of gender. Let's just talk about these as energies. So irregardless of gender, my masculine depth, meaning my connection to consciousness and the way that my body transmits consciousness evokes something from, a fe from will evoke more feminine from whoever I'm around men or women, right? It'll just evoke more feminine because the deeper I drop and the deeper my body transmits something, the more I will evoke that. So, um, and vice versa, right? The more that, the more that uh, you're feeling pleasure in your body, I, I know you guys worked on pleasure this morning, the women worked on pleasure, so feeling pleasure in your body and um, uh, yearning in your heart, right? The more that you're transmitting that through your body, the more you're going to evoke something from, you're going to evoke a masculine, which is why doing practice at work, <laughs> probably not a good idea, right? Like, it, it, you know, it's, it, you're going to polarize every masculine being in your workplace. So women will ask me, how can I bring these practices to work? Please don't. I, this is for intimate space only. Um, not unless, you know, it's a very liberal, loose, workplace. So we're always evoking. And now we get to choose. And hopefully what you guys are going to leave this weekend with is 
a whole bunch of skills and, a, and, and some, some skill sets to be able to choose how you want to, what you want to evoke and what you want to transmit so that it can be a choice. There's lots of times when we don't want to transmit shit. I'm going to transmit couch potato. I'm going to transmit totally zoned out, absolutely don't bother me, right? That's my transmission. But I'm doing it consciously. I'm doing it consciously, right? I, I'm, okay, don't, baby, don't bother me. I'm, I'm just, you know, it's, uh, baseball season's going to start again. There's my transmission. Don't bother me, I'm a couch potato. But it's conscious. However, if I stand up and I go to the kitchen, I can walk downstairs, and the moment I'm walking down the stairs, I can, I can pull up the transmission, because I practiced it at a workshop, many workshops, in my, you know, many workshops in my lifetime, but I practiced it enough, I can pull it up, and by the time I hit the bottom of the stairs, I'm transmitting grounded depth, right? which my partner will feel and will make her feel better. So I want to I want to really you know I want all of you to leave here. Now I'm going to ask you what you want, but I'm just going to give you what I want first and then see see how that fits for y'all. But what I want you guys to do is leave here with the 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 understanding that you can transmit whatever you want. There is nothing nobody is I mean short of like you're 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 getting assaulted or arrested or you know something, you know, attacked by a bear. Short of that you're pretty much free to transmit what you want in your life. You could walk down the street transmitting Samba Queen, right? You could walk, you know, into your office transmitting, um, you know, devotional priestess if you wanted. You can transmit whatever you want, right? Nothing stopping you from transmitting. Not your partner's lack of presence, not your partner's complaint, not, nothing stops you from transmitting what you choose to transmit into the world. So I want you to leave here with a clear understanding that you are completely empowered to transmit and hence evoke, this is the part where most people don't believe me, but evoke something different from your environment.